when I saw Sarah for the first time this morning. It took about 60 seconds to play back everything from when she was born until the present moment, but totally out of my control. Adam went from not calling to running, and he hasn't stopped since. Once he applies his mind to achieve something, he wastes no time. So Adam, always excelling, always achieving. So Sarah didn't stand a chance once Adam decided that Sarah was the one for him. He remained focused, and here we are. Adam, you're a one-of-a-kind guy who's brought so much joy and colour into my life. Your determination, focus and loyalty are qualities that I really look up to. And it's qualities like that that are going to take you very far in this life. I love you, bro. As close family and friends, I would like to share the, the dearest moment um, of my life thus far. So I'm sure you'll all agree it was quite dark in the chapel, but when those doors opened and Sarah entered, it was as, as if the heavens had opened and an angel had entered. It was even better yet that it was a daughter of God being delivered to be my wife. And as she drew closer, my heart started to do the tango. When our eyes and hands connected, an electric surge pulsated through my body and lit up every single soul with love. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is a moment I'll never forget. The reason why I'm up here today, I probably don't have to say this because it's so blatantly obvious, but you look drop dead gorgeous. It brought back memories of when we, when, I, when we met at Shimmy Beach Club six years ago. <laughs> when I saw you for the first time, you literally stopped me dead in my tracks. And what I love most about you though, is that your beauty actually comes from within. And this beauty that I'm talking about, it's not something, it's actually, I'm lost for words, I can't describe it, which is fitting, because the beauty I'm talking about can only be experienced through my eyes. You know, they say that you should marry someone that's going to love you unconditionally and going to always support you. Well, I can confidently say that I don't think it's possible for someone to love you more than you do. I know we say that marriage is a covenant created by God and we're going to keep him at the center of it all. But tonight, I would like to make a promise to you that I'm going to love you today and even more tomorrow.